Hello, I am Officer Knights 2. We will learn about relation and function of sets. First, we'll tell you about the domain and range of a function. Suppose, we need to find their age and weight. Elliot's age is 13 years old, and Clarissa's age is 15 years old. Also, Elliot's weight is 46 kilograms, and Clarissa's weight is 48 kilograms. We can now obtain age as domain function, and weight can be obtained as range function. So we can now link together, this becomes the result. Suppose, I'll call Sonic as soon as possible. He's Sonic, right here. Sonic, what's your age and weight? I'm 24 years older than yours. And my weight is 50 kilograms. Okay, you now have the domain of 24 years and the range of 50 kilograms. Check about yours. For me? Yeah. I'm 32 years old and my weight is 51 kilograms. It's almost equal by the way. Definitely, I'm now going to proceed it. Suppose, any function of x, refers to its domain. And range be a function of y, to give an answer. You can also say, f of x, is same as y, refers to the range. Let's consider f of x is equal to x squared. x will denote the series of square values. If you have denoted f of x on the graph, this is the result of parabola. Yes it is, Sonic. When you take 0 as domain, we get 0 in the range. Similarly, if you have taken x is equal to 1, then we get 1 in the range. If x is equal to minus 1, then we get the same value 1. Y minus sign is not included in the range. This is because, when we multiply with negative signs, it turns into positive, or cancelling out the negative sign. Great answer, indeed. You can find the rest by obtaining the range. That's how the function works. In the next part, we'll classify the functions. Bijection, injection, and surjection. See you then. Like, comment, and subscribe now on YouTube.